Good afternoon everybody and welcome to today's virtual assembly where we are joined by Jo and Sue and today we're going to discuss the importance of planting trees but not only planting trees making sure we know that it's really important that we plant those trees in the right area. Virtual Assembly. I'm Sue and I'm Jo and we're, we're from Picture News. So as always now is the time to grab anything that you need for this week's Virtual Assembly. Pen, pencil, whiteboard, pen, a whiteboard, piece of paper or your school workbook. And remember you can pause this recording at any point if you need some more thinking time, if you'd like to discuss some more ideas or if you've got a good debate. So Sue, can we have a look at this week's picture? Let's have a look. What can you see in this week's picture? So Jo, what can you see in this week's picture? Oh. So, I'm looking really, really closely there in the background and I can see some houses. And I can see some tubes attached to some pieces of wood. What can you see in this week's picture? Now let's think about the things that we like about this week's picture. What do you like, Sue? Oh, well, I'm having a close look and I can see some bushes with yellow flowers or something on them. Ah, and you know, I really, not just like, but love that gorgeous countryside view this week. Jot down the things that you like. Now let's ask some questions about this week's picture. What would you like to ask Jo? I'd like to know where this is. And I'd like to know, what are those tubes for? Jot down some questions you'd like to ask about this week's picture. Finally, it's time to make a prediction. So a really good guess as to what could be happening in the news this week. Use the clues from the picture and anything that you've discussed to help you do that. So can we find out? It's time to find out. Tree planting is a good solution to tackle climate change and protect biodiversity. But planting trees in the wrong place can do more harm than good, experts at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew have explained. Scientists have outlined 10 rules for tree planting, which they say must be a top priority for all nations this decade. Now it's time to think about how this week's story makes you feel. So you're going to come up with one emotion word to describe that. So Sue, what's your emotion word this week? Well Jo, this week I'm a bit disgruntled. Oh, hmm. I thought that planting trees wherever and whatever kind they were was a good thing. It would appear that it's not. Ah, well do you know Sue, thinking about trees and planting trees, that actually made me feel quite happy this week. So sort of similar reasons to you thinking about planting, but it actually made me feel happy this week. Jot down your word. Now it's time to get our emotion response grid. And to do that, we're going to do a clapping pattern this week, Sue. So I want you to watch first, so watch first and then join in at home. We're going to do a clapping and a tapping and it's going to go like this. It's going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, ta-da, okay? Can you do that, Sue? Ooh, I'm not sure. Two across, so it's tap, two tap, two plaps, two taps on your knee, two pats across, and then it's gonna come on. Are we ready? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Ah, did you manage to keep up at home as well? <laughs> so let's take 
take a look at this emotion response grid. So Sue, let's find your word on there first. Your word was disgruntled. It was disgruntled. Now, at the top of my column, it says angry. But that angry means really quite a powerful emotion. I'm still, I'm just a little bit cross. So disgruntled is underneath there. And I'm going to up-level my word, little bit cross, to discontented. Excellent. Mm. And my word was happy. And I'm going to find a synonym for happy, and I'm going to use delighted. So explore other vocabulary for your word. And remember, if your word isn't there, you could always look in a thesaurus. Or like Sue, it might not quite match because it might be a different power to that word. And that's fine as well. So explore that vocabulary. So now let's have a look at this week's question. How important is it to plant more trees? So the first thing I would like you to do is think about the trees that are perhaps in your area. Do you have any trees near to you? Do you, Sue? Yes, I do. I've got some trees right outside my window, uh, all along the road, where I do my daily exercise. I think they're all over. Fantastic. Now, mentioning your daily exercise, the next thing I'd like you to do is think about perhaps a journey or your daily exercise, maybe a journey to school or to work. Can you count how many trees you see on your journey. If you were coming to work, Sue, could you count how many trees you see? I'm just having to think about that, Joe. and I think there must be hundreds of trees along my route to work. I'm going to try and count them next time. Perhaps that's a challenge that you could try. The next thing I'd like you to think about is where do we find trees? So where are the places? Now you mentioned a couple there, Sue. You mentioned your yep. garden and you mentioned along the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any other places we might find trees? Oh, well, in the park. Um, oh, and if I go on a further a journey further away, there are things like rainforests or on plains. Uh, not the type we, we uh, fly in, of course, but um, all over the place we have trees. Wow. So see if you can think of any other places. Now, scientists have said that it's not always a good idea just to plant trees anywhere, where previously we thought actually planting a tree anywhere is a really positive and a good thing. And what they're saying now is that if we don't plant them in the right place, it can actually be harmful to our environment. Does that surprise you? Jot down how you feel about that and any other thoughts that you might have. And now let's think about why are trees so important to us? Think about some of the ways that trees can help us. Why are trees so important? Trees give us oxygen and store carbon. They stabilize the soil and give life to the world's wildlife. They provide us with the materials for tools and shelter. The canopies of trees can act as a physical filter, trapping dust and absorbing pollutants from the air. They provide shade and can help reduce noise. Research has shown that within minutes of being surrounded by trees and green space, people become calmer and feel more relaxed. There are so many ways that trees can help us. Can you think of any other ways? I've got another question for you as well, Sue. I like to think about trees and why perhaps we like them. Why do you like trees? Well, Joe, I used to live in a really hot country where sometimes in the winter it got a little bit cooler and in the summer it got hotter. The trees really stayed the same. So the reason I like trees is because of the seasons. The trees change so many ways as they go from winter through the seasons and back to winter again. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And do you know why I really like trees, Sue? I love trees because I quite like climbing trees. 
I like making dens in trees, and I absolutely love going through the woods and playing hide and seek in the trees. Jot down any of the reasons why you like trees. So let's have a look at the poster again and this week's question. Jot down any other thoughts you have about this week's big question. So Jo, it's time for this week's interesting fact. Excellent. So we've already discussed why trees are chopped down. Mm -hmm. How many trees worldwide do you think are chopped down every second? Oh gosh, a second, so literally one chopped down. Um, right, I'm going to take a guess at 10. Okay, one, how many? I, do you know what? I'm going to times that by 10. I'm going to say 100. Wow. Can we find out, Sue? Let's find out. So, 500 trees a second are chopped down worldwide. That is staggering. Wow. Now it's time for this week's reflection. As the biggest plants on the planet, trees give us oxygen, store carbon, stabilise the soil and give life to the world's wildlife. We should follow advice and guidance about the best way to protect and ensure the survival of this vital resource. Perfect, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed today's virtual assembly with Jo and Sue. And we've got a couple of questions for you to think about or talk about with the people at home or the people in school. Why is it important to plant trees? How important is it to plant trees? And when you are out on your daily exercise, can you see how many trees you can count. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, boys and girls.